Absolute values. Um, common misconception about absolute values is it is a magical signal symbol which makes everything positive. Which there is some truth to that, but really technically it's really the distance from a number to zero. So if you ever hear your teacher say that, it's actually really just the distance from zero. So if we look at two examples, absolute value of four. Okay. So by positive aspect, yes, the absolute value of 4 is, in fact, 4. But really what this is saying is the distance from 4 to 0 on a number line is 4 units. Okay. Absolute value of negative 3. Okay. Again, it does make it positive. So this actually is 3, but the reason being is it's the distance from this number to 0. Distance is always positive. You don't say I'm going negative five blocks. You say I'm going five blocks. You just may be going in a direction. So absolute value, while it does make things automatically positive, you have to keep in mind the definition. So let's look at one more example. Absolute value of x is equal to five. Okay. So what this is saying is the distance from a point to zero is five. Okay, so we're just sort of thinking about it logically. We have zero. We go five units forward, we end up at five. We go five units backwards, we end up at negative five. Either way, the distance from these two points is five. So in this case, we could say x is equal to five or negative five. You sometimes may see it written as x is equal to plus or minus five, depending on your notation.